What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Eric and in today's video what we're going to do is install a new style grill on a 2017 SRT charger. So without any further delay, let's get right into the video. So as you guys can see right here, we have the newer style grill that it's found on 2019 and up chargers. And you can see that on this one, since it's a 2017 charger, it doesn't matter if it's an SRT or whatever model it is, it's going to have the older style grill. And it doesn't have the little cutouts there for the vents um, that is used on the SRT uh, chargers. Um, I'm only going to be doing the top grill today. We're not doing the bottom one. As you guys can see, we do have the active cruise control sensor there. So the process that I'm going to show you guys in this video will apply to the following chargers here on the screen. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. So we're going to go ahead and pull this vehicle inside the garage here and... Uh, start jacking it up and removing the wheels and uh, swapping out the grill. Once you loosen up your lug nuts, I'm going to go ahead and jack up the vehicle. There is uh, specific jack points where you uh, will put a jack. So I'm going to leave that diagram up above so that you guys can um, not damage your vehicle basically. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. Lift up the vehicle and remove the wheels. So right in front of me are some of the tools that I used in today's video. So I have just an assortment of sockets. We're mainly going to be using 7 and 10 millimeters um, as far as, you know, the socket goes. Uh, we did use a 22 millimeter to break the lug nuts loose. And uh, you're going to need a ratchet or a breaker bar or something to do that. So as you guys can see, now that we got the wheel out, we have a ton of room in here. And what we need to do is remove these plastic clips on the wheel well cover that kind of get clipped onto the bumper here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that off here on both sides. What I ended up doing here is just removing the whole uh, front portion of this wheel liner. Um, as you guys can see, I have all the plastic clips kind of removed and set off on the ground. This is going to make it easier so that you can get access to the two fasteners that are holding the bumper on the top up there. There's one right there and one up there. So you'll remove both of those guys on both sides. And you're also going to disconnect your fog lights um, and your side markers. These guys just have little tabs. You push down and uh, you pull out. Just like that. What I ended up doing to disconnect the fog light connector is uh, to get behind this little red clip with my pick here. And uh, I was able to push this out. And then once you have it like that, it's kind of unlocked. You want to go ahead and push down on this uh, black connector uh, right here, a little tab and pull out and that will separate that connection. Um, so once you have that stuff disconnected, you know, go ahead and remove those two top fasteners like I mentioned. Now to remove the two fasteners that are on the top holding the bumper in place, it can be a little bit challenging to get in there because it's kind of tight. What you can do is use a 10 millimeter gear wrench to remove those or I found an even better trick and that is just to use a long uh, deep socket size 10 and it's not on there tight at all. I was able to break both of those fasteners loose with just the grip of my uh, fingertips. So once you get on there, just go ahead and give it a nice little turn there and they'll break loose. They're not tight on there at all. So uh, this will make it a lot easier so that you don't have to be messing around with the gear wrench. And uh, like I said, it's kind of tight in there, but I was able to break these guys loose with just the strength of my fingertips. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys off and repeat the same steps on the other side. 
These are the two fasteners. They're both the same length. Something that I forgot to mention is that when you remove these clips, there is going to be a little section here on the side by the uh, side marker um, that is going to be a little bit stuck on there. All you got to do is kind of push it towards, uh, I guess, the inner part of the wheel well. So push in and then go ahead and wiggle this guy out. And what it is here is just a little plastic little tab that kind of grabs onto the inner part of the uh, fender i guess or bumper you can call it uh, so this kind of uh, is on top so you got to kind of lift it up and push in uh, be careful not to break it because you can see there is not a lot of uh, support here so all it is you just got to you know wiggle it out push in and pull it out All right, so now that we have the wheel wheels disconnected and all the connectors there, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the top and start disconnecting this plastic uh, shield here. So there is another 10 millimeter that is on the corner right here. There's one over there as well. Um, use a 10 millimeter to remove those. And then with these, you wanna just go ahead and get your plastic trim removal tool and work your way at removing these guys out of the way. This guy will slide up and uh, get removed that way. So like I said, at this point, just go ahead and start working your way at removing these plastic clips. And uh, right over here is the 10 millimeter fastener. And there's another one right over there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So as you can see, the top part of this uh, bumper is pretty loose now so the last thing that I need to remove uh, before I can get this bumper off are several seven millimeter fasteners that are holding the bumper to the under shield that you can see here so I'm just using my electric ratchet uh, to make this a lot faster These right here are the eight seven millimeter fasteners that are holding the bumper on to that plastic shield on the bottom now at this point, technically this bumper cover should be free. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off and set it off to the side so that we can start removing the upper grill. So that was pretty straightforward as you could tell. Um, now in front of us we have the bumper cover and uh, I wanna just point out these little tabs here that kinda stick out. These are what guide the front bumper cover on to the fenders. So just be careful not to like tug on this too hard because they can break. Um, but those guys go into those holes that are inside of the fenders. And that just kind of helps line everything up. Now, I also wanted to show you guys where those two fasteners would go. So there's one right here that would go there. Another one right there. And this one is on the top that we removed. So those are the three fasteners that you remove to disconnect the bumper cover. Now in order to remove the upper grill, what you need to do is disconnect these four plastic clips that you see here in the middle. So you wanna go ahead and disconnect those by using the plastic removal tool. Once you do that, there is another two clips here in the corners that you can kind of make out right there and right over here. And for these, you want to get like a little pick or a screwdriver or something to push in on that center clip so that it pops off to the side so that you can get this free. And once you remove those clips, you're going to go ahead and push down on these plastic tabs. Um, and then you're going to do the same thing on the top. And that's going to free the grill. And you want to be careful not to break those. Um, because uh, they can break so just don't put too much pressure on them um, when you are wiggling them out and there's also going to be two more on the bottom that are going to be a little bit hard to see at first but um, you'll be able to get them off just as easy as you did in the top so 
that's how you get that middle portion out now to remove the upper grill like i said you want to go ahead and disconnect those clips on here but i did want to draw attention to the lower grill since i haven't really talked about it um, if you're going to be replacing the lower grill there is another set of screws that are holding the lower grill on and i think in a, in a way it's easier to remove than this upper one so in order to remove the lower grill there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve seven millimeter fasteners that you need to remove so that you can kind of pry this off as you guys can see there's little tabs here that once you remove those fasteners you should be able to push down and pull forward now like i said in this video i'm not going to be replacing that because the owner of this vehicle does not have this so i'm going to go ahead and get this upper grill off so that we can uh, install the newer style and then I'm going to try to see if I can transfer the SRT logo onto the new one, which I don't know if that's going to be possible. This is how this little clip looks like. And like I said, all you're doing is pushing this clip out, the center piece. And uh, once you do that, this guy will come out. And uh, at this point, we're pretty much ready to start disconnecting this grill. So you push up on the tab and then you push with your hand on the other side to start getting these guys free. So for the top ones, we had to push up so that we can get the clip off. For the bottom tabs, you had to push down so that you can remove the clips from the grill. So there we have it, we got the grill off. Now I wanted to just kind of give you guys a little close up of these little plastic tabs. For these you gotta push down, uh, that's on the bottom side here. And for the top ones you have to push up to kind of give enough room so that this grill can slide off. As you guys can see the little tabs just go in there. It's kind of a little time consuming. You wanna make sure that you don't put too much pressure on them because that can break. What I'm gonna do now is uh, compare these two grills and install the aftermarket grill or OEM grill, I should say, onto this car. So there you guys have it. On the top, we have the stock grill. On the bottom, we have the newer style grill found on the 2019 and up chargers. You guys can see that this bottom one has a different design and it overall looks just more aggressive. The only thing that I'm concerned about here is that I don't think I'll be able to transfer this SRT logo without doing some custom modifications to this one. I'm gonna have to see if I can get that figured out and I'll let you guys know if I can. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the bumper and uh, install it back on the car. This is a little close up of that little badge. As you guys can see, there's little clips here on the back and two tabs that you need to push in so that you can pop out this uh, SRT logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. To install this upper grill, what you need to do first is install the bottom portion of it and then the top. I'm going to go ahead and do that now here. Once you have the grill installed, just make sure that all your clips and uh, tabs are fully seated onto the grill. Uh, what I'm going to do now is install that little uh, clip here on the side, um, on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then put this uh, reinforcement on here so that uh, we can install it on the car. So I spoke with the customer and um, I told him that I couldn't put his SRT emblem on there just because it's not the same type of grill. The SRT grill has space for that grill, you know, to, to bolt on or I guess to clip on, as you guys can see here. And obviously, you know, this one doesn't have that. So he told me to just Mickey Mouse it and try to figure out a way. So that's what I'm trying to do right here. And uh, what I did is when you remove this emblem, there's two little safety clips here in the back. And uh, there is just no way to remove that without breaking it. As you can see, they kind of broke here. 
there's just there's just no way i tried everything and i was gentle as possible but it wouldn't come out so what i did here is uh i made a little hole right there on the face of the grill and uh, it's just big enough so that this guy this little tab fits in there so i'm gonna make another hole over here maybe a little bit further this way so that i can clip this on there hopefully that works so that we can use his srt emblem i don't blame him i, I would want this on there as well so uh, i'll try to see if i can make this work the only thing left to do now is install the bumper back on the vehicle since i already showed you guys how to remove it the installation of the bumper is the opposite so i'm going to go ahead and do a little time lapse so that we can get to the end so i can show you guys how it looks All right guys, so as you guys can see, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. I tried to make these little holes so that the SRT logo can kind of clip on there. You guys gotta be very careful with these tabs because they can break and I kind of already feel one of them kind of being a little loose. Uh, I already told the customer that <laughs> this is probably not gonna work, but he gave me the green light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to make it work. I think it might work. Um, give it a try here. This little guy lines up. This guy should line up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there and see if it holds. All right guys, so this is the charger now that I've put everything back together. As you guys can see, I think it looks much better than before. Um, this new style grill definitely gives the vehicle a different look. And um, like I said, I was able to put that SRT badge on there. Um, I did have to do some little cutting to make it fit, but it's on there nice and snug and it shouldn't fall off. And I think with that, it completed the look of the vehicle this over here is our white charger and uh i don't have to do this to this vehicle because it already comes like that from factory it's a 2019 um the fitment on the grill is basically the same so there is no issues with that so yeah guys this is a pretty straightforward install um, the only thing you have to be careful of is those bumper tabs not to break them just take your time and uh it should look good when you're done this is a great way to make your older uh, charger look like a newer model with that grill and yeah it looks much more aggressive in my opinion so if you guys like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out